Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing? Matt Antonelli here. So yesterday we were talking, and I said in the comment section below, put who's going to be the first guy for the Astros that's going to get drilled in spring training. And uh, so put the guy and put how many batters it's going to take. Is it going to be the first inning? It's going to be the first batter at spring training, okay? Now, I was half joking, but not really. I think guys are going to get drilled. And what do you know? Pitchers are coming out and saying, well, yep. I've thought about it, and uh, I'm going to drill you. <laughs> so, um, Dusty Baker, new manager of the Houston Astros, came out today. And he's imploring MLB to do something about this, to protect his players. Because he don't want his guys getting drilled. Makes sense. If I'm the manager, I don't want my guys getting drilled either. I feel bad for Dusty. He wasn't even involved in any of this stuff, and now he's getting dragged into it. But, Dusty's a, bit, a great manager, great guy. From everything I've heard, I don't know him, um, but I agree. You got to protect your players, okay? So he's asking MLB. So let's talk here for a second about what some of these pitchers are saying, and then what do you guys think? Should MLB protect? I don't know how you would protect them. I guess you say if you hit. I mean, what are you gonna say? If you hit somebody, you're thrown out of the game. How do you know it didn't slip? I don't know how you do this, but you can't give a warning before you give a warning before the game starts, and then what? Again, someone accidentally hits a guy. Now you can never hit a batter. I don't know. So what do you guys think in the comment section below? Should MLB do anything? And if so, what do they do? Here we go. A couple of pitchers came out recently. Ross Stripling of the Dodgers, who was traded to the Astros. Sorry, not to the Astros, to the Angels. But then had to go back to the Dodgers. That trade fell through. That whole, that, all those trades were kind of a mess for a little bit there. Um, okay, so he says, here's what he says. Ross says, that he'd lean towards it, intentionally hitting a Houston batter this season if he faced him. Quote, I thought about that if I was going to the Angels because they open in Houston, right? And I was like, oh my gosh, would I do it? I would lean towards yes. In the right time, in the right place, maybe I give up two runs the inning before and I got some anger going. Who knows? But yeah. It would certainly be on my mind. So Ross is going to drill somebody. Although he's not going to probably get a, a chance to right now. But if he was with the Angels, it would have been awesome. Because Well, it wouldn't have been awesome, guys. I don't, I don't want to say that I want to see guys get hit. Okay? But it would have been interesting. Interesting is a better word than awesome. Trevor Bauer, Mike Clevenger, they've talked about it. Bauer with the Reds, former Indian. He said that he is, quote, not going to let them forget the fact that they are hypocrites they are cheaters. How is he not going to let them forget? I mean, he might just talk a lot. He's got some really good YouTube channels also, guys. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. So maybe he's just going to do that. Or maybe he's going to, like Pedro said, you can wake up the Bambino. I'll drill him in the ass. So maybe he's going to do that to him too. I don't know. Um, Mike Clevenger said Houston Astros should, quote, they shouldn't be comfortable in the batter's box next year. That, to me, seems like uh, he's going to throw one a little up and in, a little chin music. So, there's going to be a lot of other guys that probably say stuff, too. And I think guys are going to throw at some guys. Not to hurt anyone, but just to let them know that they don't appreciate them stealing their signs, okay? Now, here's Dusty Baker's quotes. He says, I'm depending on the league to try to put a stop to this seemingly premeditated retaliation that I'm hearing about. In most instances in life, you get kind of reprimanded when you have premeditated anything. I'm just hoping that the league puts a stop to this before somebody gets hurt. Now, here's the thing. In baseball, hitting batters, unfortunately, I was a batter, so... Stinks for me. Stinks for batters. This is how you settle scores in baseball. There's not a really a whole lot of other ways you can settle scores. Like in other sports, you can settle scores. You can get even with guys in a bunch of different ways. In hockey, you just drop the gloves, beat the ever-living hell out of the guy. Like if the guy's going to talk about your mama, you just beat the hell out of the guy, okay? And you just go to the penalty box for a little bit. <laughs> Big whoop. Um, or you just deck somebody, right? I mean, you can do anything you want in hockey, basically. Um, in football, you just run a guy over, right? You just destroy the guy. 
Football's the easiest sport to get back at somebody. The whole game is violent. Um, basketball, I mean, you can hard foul a guy. Now, you might get thrown out of the game, maybe, if it's really egregious. But usually, you can just hard foul a guy, and maybe you get a technical or something, and you give up a point or two in possession, like what they do. Um, you can throw a cheap shot. You can do a bunch of things. But baseball, you can't. You know, you used to be able to a little bit, like you could go up and take a, a, a middle infielder out, maybe go cleats up, go spikes up. Can't really do that as much anymore. Um, you know, you used to be able to run over a catcher, but usually you wouldn't really do that to get a guy back. Uh, so there's just not a whole lot of ways in baseball to do it. Hitting a batter is the way that has been done pretty much forever. And... A lot of people ask me, like, have you ever been hit on purpose? I don't know. I've been hit plenty of times. I never realized if it was on purpose or not on purpose. I'm sure one of those times I got hit for something. Probably not for something I did. But that's just the way you get back at guys in baseball, okay? So that's why I feel like guys are definitely going to get hit. I'm going to go out on a limb and say the Astros are going to lead the league in hit by pitches this year. Um, So it's going to happen. And I think, you know, I'm actually, depending on what you're getting hit for, like, I'm okay with that. If somebody hit an Astros batter for, for cheating all throughout 2017, I'm actually okay with them getting hit for that. Of course, you don't throw up at the head. Okay, you don't throw up here. You throw it down. You hit him in the butt. Now, that's not 100%. Like, you, the ball might get away from you, and you could hit a guy in the head. You could kill a guy. So you got to be really, really careful when you're talking about this stuff. Now, most major league pitchers have pretty good command. Usually when they want to hit a guy... They're not trying to hurt them. They're just trying to send a message, and they're going to throw the ball down. And I understand sometimes bad stuff happens, but <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> I'm not totally against that. I am against it when they hit guys for no reason, like a guy hit a home run and looked at it too long, and you're going to hit him the next at bat. Like that's bush league to me. Okay, throw a better pitch. Don't give up a homer. That's what I say. Um, but this guy gets hit in the butt for this. Oh well, you shouldn't have been cheating. That's the way I look at it. Um, so I think guys are going to get hit. Let's see what else Dusty said. Dusty said, it's not good for the game. It's not good for kids to see it. Dusty's looking out for the kids too. Stop the comments and also stop something before it happens. Now, I agree it's not good for little kids to see guys getting hit. It's also not good for little kids to know that the freaking Astros cheated in all all of 2017 because cheating ain't not good either. So we should have thought about this whole thing before we cheated. That's what I say. So, you know, if they got to see a couple guys get drilled... Well, maybe that'll stop them from cheating, too. What else did he say? So Dusty said, this is the slogan of my teams. We don't start anything. Not intentionally. Guys are going to get hit, intentionally or unintentionally. If you say you're going to drill somebody and all of a sudden you drill them, you can't say you weren't trying to hit them. We don't take anything either. So my next question probably should have been, how many bench-clearing brawls are there going to be with the Astros this year? Because I don't care what the MLB says. Some pitchers are going to be like, I don't care if I get thrown out of this this game. They're going to wait for their opportunity, and then they're going to whack, hit somebody. And eventually, the Astros are going to get fed up with this, okay? The first time they get hit, they might be like, you know what? We we deserved it. The second time, maybe, okay, guys, I got it. We deserved it. Let's put an end to it. The third time, they're going to start to get pissed. And then they're going to start, the benches are going to start clearing, and there's going to be a couple of fights this year. Um, there is. I don't think any. I don't think MLB can do anything about it to stop that. What do you guys think? Put it in the comment section below. What a season this is going to be, guys! What a season! A lot of people saying they're not going to watch baseball. I don't know. I think people are going to watch baseball because they're going to want to see what goes on every time the Astros step on the field this year. That's all we got. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Hit the bell button. That'll get you all my videos right away. Um, thank you to our patrons for supporting the channel on Patreon. If you'd like to be a patron, well, I'm going to put the link up in 10 seconds. You can go over there and you can help support. Thank you so much. We'll talk to you later.